is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek and look at just what one day can do. Uh, it helps out a lot. I still have a little tiny bit of a list sometimes. I'm moving my tongue, but I, I'm sounding a lot better and I'm very happy about it. So once I started hearing myself talking on the phone with my mom, I said, oh, I can, I, I actually can, uh, you know, it sounds worse to me, obviously. For you guys, I think you're probably like, eh, it's a small list, not a big deal. Um, but for me, it just, that's all I could focus on. Uh, so now that it's kind of going away, I, I feel much better and I was like, all right, Let's get back to recording. Let's make some more videos from the ones I filmed yesterday. Um, so today I want to touch on uh, the Resident Evil stuff that's coming up um, real quickly with Resident Evil 8 Village and also the big 25th anniversary announcement that will be getting next week. Uh, so Capcom did drop a little bit of information on us. They showed us some new footage from the new game. Um, uh, of, of The biggest thing of note, I think, is the main lady, the, one of the villain ladies, because uh, the other ladies turn into bugs. Uh, like bug creatures, which we've seen before with Marguerite and other things. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to tie into maybe the event that took place in Resident Evil 7. Hopefully there's some connection. Um, but also this one uh, lady who's like the, the ringleader of these other uh, witch-like ladies, and she's super tall. You actually see her crawling through a door, like ducking down to fit through a door in this trailer. And at first I thought, oh, she's going through like a, like a secret entrance where she has to duck. But then when she stands up and then you see her next to the other girls, I didn't realize before in the previous trailers, because the angle was like a low angle, I didn't realize that she was taller than all of them by that much. Uh, so yeah, she's pretty tall actually. So a lot of people have been already making memes of that and talking about that online and headlines have already been coming out. You know, big vampire lady is a big hit or whatever. And uh, so I just thought that was kind of funny. So, uh, so yeah, so it looks like people are getting interested in this character. And there's also a free code, so I'll pop that up right there. Um, if you haven't put that a code in on your PlayStation, I think maybe Xbox it might work for too, but it's just in the U.S. If you put that code in, uh, it'll get you a free avatar of this lady on your PlayStation. I don't know how if that's limited, how long that'll be up. So I'll try to get this episode up to you guys very quickly. So hopefully you can put that code in and get it. It works for everybody, so don't think it's a one-time code. Anyone out there can put that code in, and I don't know how long it'll work. So put it in immediately as you of you watching this video. If you're watching this video years later from now, I don't know if it'll work anymore. I'm sorry to say, uh, but I think it works on uh, both PS4 and PS5, uh, and then also Xbox and Xbox One S and X and stuff. So um, I think, so I don't know, don't hold me to that, but uh, but it's a free code, so pop that in there and uh, get your free avatar if you'd like it of this giant lady. Um, but on top of showing us this new thing, they announced uh, that they're doing a Resident Evil showcase next Thursday on uh, the 21st of January, uh, which is like five days away from now. And they're going to, uh, you know, show us a new trailer for Resident Evil 8, some gameplay footage, it seems, um, as well. Uh, so they're going to do a presentation on their YouTube channel. And then also uh, they're going to probably announce another Resident Evil game. Now, if you go back and watch some of my earlier videos of this show, you'll know that I hinted at that. Uh, I was pretty sure that we were gonna get two Resident Evil games this year at the least. It is the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil after all. And I also believed that Resident Evil Resistance, although not very popular with a lot of people, was just a precursor to something that they were gonna do or work on. Um, I believe this next game will probably be multiplayer. And the reason I think that is because also Capcom, on the day they announced this news, they also said you can sign up for a beta test to play a new Resident Evil game that no one's played before yet. Uh, and that it requires, if you look down in the, the description area, four to six players to play, which would allude to it being a multiplayer game of some kind. Now, I don't know if this is a multiplayer story thing like Outbreak was, or this will be like Resistance was, where it's just like a regular, you know, just multiplayer thing that you can play online. I hope it's not the Resistance angle, because I think that wasn't a very big hit with a lot of fans, especially fans who had to pay $60 to play it, along with a very short Resident Evil 3 campaign. Um, I think people just weren't a big fan of that overall. Um, there are people that didn't mind it, sure, and, and there's definitely that uh, popula population out there, people that weren't bothered by that too much but I would say majority of people were bothered by that. Um, and you can see that in a lot of the reviews of Resident Evil 3, most people didn't even review Resistance uh, in their Resident Evil 3 reviews. 
So, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that to me paints a big picture right there. Um, so this information we're getting, the beta, I'll put a link to that down below. I think you still have, to have up until January 25th of 2021 to sign up for that beta. Um, it's going to link to your uh, account, uh, your um, you know, Capcom ID account. And we'll make probably make an episode coming up next where we talk about um, the Capcom rules of filming, of what you can do on social media when you're using a Capcom uh, footage and things like that. We'll talk about that in the next video. And then probably in that same video, we'll talk a little bit about more about the Capcom portal or the Resident Evil portal, which is this new thing that they're doing. They used to do the uh, Resident Evil ambassador program. That's still happening. Uh, you know, if you post anything with Resident Evil, you can use the hashtag R uh, R E um, B H fun. Uh, so I'll have that hashtag there. If you post anything with Resident Evil, even if you share this video, just use that hashtag on social media and that gets you points that if you link your account from your um, Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, if you link those to your Capcom account, it'll add points to your Capcom account. And then you can you know, turn those points in and grow up and rank, like raise and rank um, on uh, the Res Evil Ambassador program. So right now I'm a Res Evil uh, Ambassador uh, codes uh, silver or level silver, and there's a gold and I think a platinum above the gold. So uh, my goal this year is hopefully to play enough Res Evil games uh, and do enough hashtags to get to gold at least. Um, but I don't think I'll ever get to platinum probably. I just don't have the time. And I don't even know if I'll have the time this year to, to get to gold, but I'm gonna do my best. Um, I think after I finish King of Neverland novels and get those out there this year, um, which is a trilogy of novels I'm writing, uh, once I get those out, I'll have a ton of free time after that, hopefully, and I can play more video games. So we'll, we'll try to get to gold at some point this year. Um, but yeah, this information next Thursday, I think that's going to be great. I will definitely cover it. I'm off next Thursday as of right now. I don't know if that'll change. Um, so, uh, so we're, you know, those have seen my social, uh, those of you who have seen my social media posts have seen that, um, work is, is there's some things going on at work right now and it requires me going in a little bit more than i have before so luckily they gave me a few extra days to rest before i jump into working possibly a week or two in a row hopefully i'll still get some days off and i think i'm still going to get next thursday off um so and, and so i'm going to ask you know make sure i can at least get that day off so i can cover this resident evil news for you and also to get a day of rest really uh that's the main thing um but, uh, but if the two stars can align, that would be great. So next week, the 21st, Resident Evil, I'll put um, you know, a link to the Capcom page down below. I'll also put a link to the beta if you want to sign up for the beta. Um, and then also uh, a clip, the, the video clip that I showed you know, footage from uh, with the tall vampire lady and stuff, I'll put that down below. And then I'll pop up that code one more time right there uh, for those of you who want the avatar. Um, and you'll see when I'll be playing some games coming up, Resident Evil games, I'll be using that avatar on my playthroughs uh, instead of my camera because my uh, PlayStation cam, uh, the, the tripod busted finally. It finally gave out. So uh, so I don't know if I'll be uh, you know streaming with the camera on. But I said, hey, perfect. I got a new avatar to use from Resident Evil 8. So we'll use that. So with all this information, I want to hear your thoughts on them. Are you excited about next week? Um, you know, we're going to get, like I said, some Resident Evil 8 gameplay footage, uh, an announcement of this new game because people are going to be going into the betas and they're obviously going to be talking about it afterwards probably probably because I don't think they're going to, you know, maybe they'll have everyone agree to some kind of online NDA, but I think mainly they just want the news out there. So they're, you know, planning all this at one time. Um, and then obviously March, I think it's March 22nd is the official 25th anniversary of Resident Evil. So I'll try to make sure I get that day off and we'll try to do something fun that day, um, including maybe doing a playthrough of one of the games um, and then also, uh, you know, discussing or putting up some videos for that. Uh, but obviously we'll have a plenty of content to make between now and then uh but i'm just get, giving you guys a heads up that on march 22nd we'll we, you know we'll do something fun for resident evil day um but yeah let me know what you think all this information are you excited for next week i am uh let me know if you get that code for the avatar if that works for you like i said it's us only so uh as far as i know so um so i'm sorry people in other countries it's not my doing this is just the code that was released out there and hopefully another one will release uh, for international people uh, i hope very soon um and then let me know if you're going to sign up for the beta and if you get it you know let me know about that too and uh, and let me know start speculating what do you think this new game is going to be I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be multiplayer um but i hope it's multiplayer where we get to you know play as chris and jill and claire and it's like an adventure story with them where we can all work with them um I'm, i mean maybe yeah if you want to add some new characters in there sure but um i hope it's something that celebrates resident evil and is is some kind of game mode or game itself 
that features all the greatest hits, all the greatest characters like uh, Chris, Jill, Leon, uh, Claire, um, you know, and then throw in some other characters in there like uh, Jake Mueller, um, throw in, uh, you know, Steve Burnside or whatever if you want, bring him back from the dead just for a fun game. Um, you know, to me, if it's not going to be story driven, but it's just going to be a fun online experience, I'd rather be a fun online experience with all the characters we know and love um, with some customization involved so that way we can all have our favorite version of Chris, you know, whether he's a boulder punch or just regular uh, skinnier Chris from the earlier games um, or you know uh, do, do different things like that I think that would be really fun so again we'll have that speculation down in the comments below and we'll continue our conversation as always down there um, so thank you so much for watching this episode I appreciate it in the next episode like I said we'll talk a little bit about the Capcom portal and the new rules when it comes to you know streaming social media stuff so thank you very much see you all in the future peace